Subaru Sano. Not a very good model in Balari. They're spoiling a very good model of a car. Where is your area? Okay. Are we set? A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Um we are pleased to welcome you to this center and uh, begin by giving apologies of uh, two of our co-principals, uh, three actually, yes, uh, the Right Honorable Raila Molo Odinga, uh, Sister Mother Karua, Oparanya. and Wycliffe Ombetsa Oparanya, as well as... Uh, and Jacoya. In fact, we understand that Jacoya's home was raided, but it's out there in Western <coughs> Kenya. So we will have a statement read by Governor Mwango Area, and if there be any questions, we'll take them. We'll be very pleased to take them. Um, but thank you for coming. Uh, thank you. Uh, and this is our joint statement. Genocide underway in Kenya. Genocide underway in Kenya. We meet here at a very sad and traumatizing circumstances. A state sanctioned genocide is underway in Luolad, particularly in Kisumu, Migori, and Homabay. A similar atrocity is also underway in parts of Nairobi, including Kibla and Madhari. In Kisumu, people are being pulled out of their houses and shot or crowbarred to death by police officers. In Migori and parts of Homabi, police are going into villages away from towns and shooting or crowbarring people to death. All the elements of the making of a genocide are present in the developments in Luarad. Victims are being dehumanized. There, there is organization. The attacks taking place are clearly planned. The people undertaking the destruction of the rules are clearly trained. Whether they are police officers or goons. They are under a command structure and they are well resourced with arms they need. There is stigmatization and polarization accompanied by propaganda that the community is behind the nationwide protests. There is preparation with, perpetr with perpetrators knowing when to attack, which area, and they are using what appears to be the adopted slogan of dealing with Luo once and for all. Very similar to Hitra's so-called final solution. The attackers are working hard to create fear in the community by parading armies, equipment and weapons. Victims are identified because of their ethnicity. They are segregated into ghettos. They are being starved and their property destroyed or scattered away. Murders are taking place in ways that are deliberate 
and systematic campaign of violence. This crackdown has been concentrated in slums and other low-income areas of the county where the so-called hustlers, in whose name the interests the Kenya Kwanzaa regime claims to govern. We condemn the unacceptable and illegal massacre of the rural community, whose only crime is to participate alongside other Kenyans in protests against Kenya Kwanzaa policies. We condemn and demand an immediate aid to the traumatization and profiling of the Luo community, particularly the children who are being made to pay a price they do not understand. The genocide underway in Luolad is not accidental. It is coordinated and premeditated. It is being coordinated by political and government leaders, both from the community and outside. But it is not just in Nyanza. In Madhare and Kibla in Nairobi, citizens were traumatized and tear gas canisters locked in their houses. A father who confronted police for hurrying tear gas into his house, causing his child to faint, was manhandled and battled into the police lorry like a criminal. His whereabouts remain unknown. Several people were shot dead at Cruz Ridge by non-uniformed and uniformed police in Nairobi, Nakuru, Mololongo, and Makweni by police mainly in plain clothes, shot and killed citizens, shot and killed citizens, a majority of whom were going about their daily business, and others light at their places of work. Similar executions have occurred in Kisi. Busia and Kericho and elsewhere in Kenya or in the name of stopping citizens exercise to exercise their constitutional right to hold peaceful demonstrations. Much as Ruto tries to depict Azimio demonstrators as violent, it is evidently clear that our demonstrations are peaceful and it is the police who import violence and use of excessive force into them. We remind all that whenever Azmir hold larries and or demonstrations without police interference, they aid peacefully without violence or destructions. The decision by police command to force without, to aid peacefully without violence or destructions. No, sorry. The decision by police command to force access to homes is sharply and unnecessarily escalating tensions and costing lives. Inspector General of Police, Mr. Jaffet Kome, and CS Interior, Professor Kithure Kidiki, must immediately withdraw police officers from people's homes and residential areas, especially now that there are no demonstrations. The developments in Nyansa take place against other equally worrying actions by the state. Both police and hired goons are trailing, arresting, and shooting people from vehicles with foreign number plates. In the three day demonstrations that ended last Friday, that was yesterday, South Sudan and Tanzania number plates were feasibly deployed. This creates unnecessary tension and conflict between our country and these Frederick countries and our people against the people of Tanzania and Southern Sudan. As police battle our people on the streets, they have also taken over the corridors of justice in our courts. We saw police attacking families of people seeking justice in court. We saw Honorable Babu Owino being abducted and ferried away from court corridors after being released on bail. We saw the media being attacked and chased from court corridors as they did their job of informing the world of developments in the country. As mere readers are being put under house arrest, constant surveillance 
and persistent threat of being arrested. We demand the unconditional release of all the Azimio readers and supporters who are still being held incommunicado. These developments also happen against the backdrop of constant verbal and warranted that their tribe against Uhuru Kenyatta, the fourth president of Kenya, and Luto's boast for 10 years from 2013 to 2022 August. The withdrawal of security of his mother, Mamangena Kenyatta, the attack on his son, Jomo, by uniformed police, claiming to be police, and the attack and vandalization of the Kenyatta family, Northrad's farm. These are all acts of grave provocation, not only to Uhuru Kenyatta and his family, but also to all right-thinking Kenyans. Clearly, Ruto has for all intent and purposes suspended the constitution of Kenya and is following his whims. We shall not watch helplessly as Luto and his cronies completely dismantle the Republic of Kenya as set up by our constitution. We shall not surrender our rights, including the right to life, dignity, and the right to peaceful protest. We shall not surrender our voices or agency. We shall fight for our rights as we have fought for them before. And our fathers, and as our fathers for, fought for them before last, we call on all right-thinking members of society to rise up and be heard. Let us all say enough is enough. William Luto and his illegitimate regime must listen to Kenyans. All these actions by police undermine the rule of law and the constitution. These actions point to the emergencies of a police state in Kenya. However, these actions that have left scores of Kenyans dead have earned police praise from William Ruto. We wish to make it clear that our people will not surrender or be cowed. We further make it clear that we will pursue no engagements with Kenya Kwanzaa whatsoever until these hostilities and their perpetrators are apprehended. We remain determined to right the wrongs being inflicted on our people, including state-induced high cost of living. Our peaceful countrywide demonstrations will continue next Wednesday. We are serving notice to all the OCSs across the country for the Wednesday peaceful demonstrations. In the meantime, the signature collection, which now starts at 8 million, continues. Thank you very much. Well, uh, attacks on our websites, yes, we reported, but we are ahead of them. We are well mitigated because we are the legitimate government, so to speak. So we can't feel how to deal with them. So, yes, they keep attacking, but they cannot penetrate us. Yep. The demonstrations will be on Wednesday. We have said it will be one day on Wednesday. From 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Sorry?
they tried to reach out to the Well, well, thank you, uh, Steve Leto. Um, it was reported that um, a, ambassadors, actually four of them, the American ambassador, Meg Whitman, the British Chaje, and the Danish ambassador, as well as the representative of the United Nations community in Nairobi, in fact, at UN offices, the very high ranking, um, came over to my residence. And uh, we agreed we will not, at this stage, address the media. Of course, they're all very concerned. Not just them as ambassadors, but the international community. The story of peaceful demonstrations turned violent by the police um, have received international visibility. On CNN, I personally watched some of these presentations on BBC, on Al Jazeera. We hope, by the way, to be able to meet with the international, some of these international correspondents in the next few days. And so everybody is concerned. And so, Steve, I hope I've answered your question, but we are saying what sense does it make uh, to meet with people who are already committing acts of genocide? I was foreign minister in 1994 when genocide happened in our neighboring, in our sisterly state of Rwanda. We pray to God that this does not happen to our country. So it behoves all of us to take note of what is going on here. We also thank the African Union at the AU Commission on Human and People's Rights for their statement. How do you tear gas 53 children and make them develop highly cases of asthma and other complications? These are basic rights and you cannot negotiate on people's basic rights. Basic rights are basic human rights. And so that is where we are. I don't know if there's another question. Thank you. You had, you had uh, last week said that you were taking three days of protest because the people want, uh, had asked for it because of the high cost of living. So what now has changed to go back to one day? No, you must always take into consideration um, the reality of the situation on the ground. We realize that um, after day one on Wednesday, a lot of people were arrested, others were injured, and people are to run all of our hospitals and, and places to check on their loved ones. So we therefore have reached a con conclusion, peaceful, and we stress, by the way, peaceful and armed demonstrations. We call on our people to remain vigilant on that core. However much you feel provoked, don't harm any policeman. Leave it to them to harm you. The world is watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yes, in Yes. Uh, Na 